right, firing room five, this is where it all took place. All the original equipment, not all, but most of it's still here. And uh, we had to put plexiglass up to protect it because when we first opened up this building a few years ago, it, uh, we were losing things. <laughs> so we, we put the plexiglass up to protect it, but that's just the way it is. Uh, this is the firing console right here. This is where Werner Von Braun stood. He stood actually in that picture right behind the console and he was overlooking the room. And behind him you could look out the windows and you could see the rocket on the launch pad. Again, the other setup on the other side is for firing room six, facing pad six over there. But this is where they launched Alan Shepard from. We have a cutout in the plexiglass here, and that means you can put your hand in here. <laughs> okay? And you can touch the firing command button. It's got like a red arrow here. That button right there is the firing command. The same button they used to launch Alan Shepard. It's the same button. And you can push it and take your picture right there. So we did that. It's like three, two, one, push it, and there goes the rocket. No, I'm kidding. No rocket. <laughs> but you can do that same exact thing right there. Check that out. All the equipment in here used to be made out of uh, vacuum tubes, valves. Anybody remember vacuum tubes? Okay. Remember the old radios and TVs? You had to wait for them to warm up. That's the kind of technology they used here. The glass tubes that sit inside the equipment. But then in 1963, we went to uh, solid state technology and it is much more improved and that's kind of what we use today. You can turn the radio on and boom, it's right there. But that's the old primitive technology that they used to use here. Here's the test conductor's console. He's the launch director. It's similar to the triple console in the other building. Anybody launch the rocket from the other building? You did. Okay. Well, we're not going to do that here, but that's where the uh, launch director would sit. Same function. He would poll all the people in here. Are we go or no go? But he was the guy that did that. And when they got ready to fire up the rocket, I can't stress how primitive it was. When they it actually turned the rocket engine on, it had to have the right color of the, of the exhaust. And there's a guy that was an expert on the color of the flame of the rocket. And he came down from the Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, and he was standing outside the building. And so they turned the engine on first, oh and they got to make sure that the color is right. And he, and he comes over, and he gives a thumbs up or thumbs down through the window here if it's good or not good. And then if it was good, then he runs around, he closes the blast door, and he comes inside the building. <laughs> That's extremely primitive, huh? Now you got here uh, one of the countdown clocks. These are, uh, there was a guy in here the, a couple months ago that designed these countdown clocks. I was totally blown away. So there's my countdown clock. <laughs> anyway, that's one there. There's one over there. And you can see how primitive those are. You had to wait for the little flap to go up for, as each number counted down to zero. And the clock at 9.32 a.m. in the morning. That's Alan Shepard. I actually launched at 9.34, but the clocks have stopped at 9.32. And this one here, too, as well. Uh, and when they launch Alan Shepard, there are 107 people in this black house. Wow. There's 32 of you here now. So imagine three times at least, three times as many more. And they all smoke cigarettes. <laughs> and that's why this building smells the way it does. So you can see the little pull-out ashtrays that they've got here. And they got cigarettes, but they, they would all smoke. And it was, it was nasty in here. Take us, it still, it still smells funky in here. But uh, All right, so walk through here, take a look. The other side doesn't have all the original equipment anymore. It's got uh, guidance systems and display things for you to look at. But this is pretty much how it looked when we launched down in Shepard. When you're ready, I'll wait for you outside. Uh, then we'll go out to the launch pad. And if you got a